Welcome back to the brand new overnight channel. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are TFAO, but we have the channel completely dedicated to all things that live in the night. That's Paranormal, right. unknown, extraterrestrial, werewolves, Everything. vampires, whatever there is left to see in the world. <laughs> all of it. All of it. We yeah. have an entirely new channel just dedicated to that. If you don't know, we already have trips planned to the UK, to oh, Romania, yeah. to Chernobyl. We have Stanley Hotel planned, a revisit to Alcatraz, going back in plan, probably yeah. going back to the Conjuring House. There are tons and tons and tons of uploads coming. Going into Alcatraz? Yeah, into, because we didn't actually go yeah. into the yeah. last time. So, all of that's coming. Appreciate you guys all being here, tuning in. And yeah, we, we're doing reaction videos now to all the videos, so make sure whenever you watch our video, leave comments. I read through all of them. Even when there's 20,000 comments in a video, I'm probably gonna read 19,000 of them. It's true. So this is true. I will literally it. scrub through all of them to read it because I just love seeing what you guys catch and what you have to say. Without further ado, this is a reaction video to the Cecil Hotel. Yeah! Like, oh, the this. Cecil. The Cecil Hotel, which was already on my radar that I really wanted. And then the Netflix series came out yep. as we were already trying to figure it out. And yeah. as the Netflix series came out, it got so much harder to I get the Cecil. I just so finished awesome. the documentary, and then you hit me up, and you're like, yo, we're doing Cecil. Yeah. What? Yeah, because we were already, it, it kind of hurt us, but we were already trying to get it, and then the series came out, and then they're like, hey, so now we know we're more valuable. Yeah. So. And I was like, damn it! We got the Cecil, and we didn't like get into the lobby. We got the whole thing, all 15 floors, the roof, and the roof. The roof? Everything. everything. I went there like before with my, my dad, and we could only see the lobby. Oh. And then when you got it, I was like, oh my god, this yeah. is Disneyland. This is insane. Has anyone gone on the roof? No. Well, Zach Baggins and Ghost Adventures had been on there. Uh, which, by the way, not to take a jab at them, a TV show that started their episode by saying, we will be the only team to ever get permission to do a paranormal investigation ha. here. Ha. And I, was, I watched that and I was like, ha. <laughs> 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 and literally how they start that episode, the trailer to their two-part series says, we will be the only team to ever get permission do to do a Sorry. Well, we had two friends join us at Cecil that aren't here right now. One's uh, in Rhode Island, the other one is doing stand-up. So we had Matt Wright, who joined us. Yeah. And then we had uh, Exploring with Josh, who yeah. also joined yes. us. We put it together, we gave this our absolute best, but I still think one of my favorite moments of the night was like right off the bat, when we were like, wait, how do we get in? Because we yeah. knew, they knew we, oh, we were yeah. coming. We were like, how do we? Uh, the Cecil knock. Yeah, the Cecil knock. The Cecil knock. It was very right. specific. All right. oh, the Cecil knock. Expected a one-handed handstand wow. knocking on the door from Josh. Most yeah. most break dancers top rock, but yeah. Josh he can see so knock. Mm -hmm. He can see so knock. Yep. Also, by the way, it has to be the weirdest way to ever get into the most haunted building in all of Los Angeles. And then I just want to preface like why this series had to be four parts. It like it did it, it didn't have to be, but I knew we had a certain amount of time there. We had 12 hours to be there. And I was like, okay. I knew Matt was in town. I knew Josh was in town. We had worked with Patty at the Biltmore before. We had worked with Linda before. With this much area to cover, we were able to split into two different groups. Yeah. yeah. And that's how this whole series came about because I knew that Patty does things more on the spiritual realm of things. And Definitely. Linda is more so like scientifically geared. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was like, how would it work if we had two different kinds of people break into two teams in the same building? Would one get evidence and one would not, would they both? Would it be different? Yeah. This to is gonna be very interesting too because we didn't see what you guys saw. That's true. Right. Yeah. And, and you guys didn't see what we saw. And the first time I ever saw happen with you guys was in editing. Yeah. Yeah. The very, very first time ever. What'd you think? It was interesting. Yeah. It was interesting because like I we had obviously done stuff with Patty before. And then But you've never seen that. I've never seen that. Yeah. I've never yeah. seen that. Which by the way, Patty's gonna join us momentarily when we get to those clips to also talk uh, talk about nice. that. Nice! I haven't seen what happened to you guys yet. Oh ah, mm -hmm. is it crazy? It, it's go and see. You'll see here very quickly. Oh boy. Start off our night in our fashion. We knew like, hey, let's get acquainted with the building before everyone else shows up. Yep. So rightfully so, we took Matt, we blindfolded yeah. him, dropped him off on a random floor, yeah, and sense. said, find us. Yeah. All 700 rooms later. <laughs> Which what we didn't realize is that we dropped him off without even knowing we just clicked a random floor, walked to a random hallway, the exact same place that allegedly Lisa Lamb was the last place she was seen. Yeah. The same floor, the yes. same fire escape. Didn't realize it until all the viewers were like, by the way, you know that's the floor of the fire escape, right? Wow. Just it for some reason, 
Yeah. We're just like, we're just gonna go that way. The odds. Yeah. He works here, so. Yeah, exactly. He's just, he's just, he's just, he's just so hot. Alright, this is gonna go throw it a hold. Here you go. Hold that. You can just hold it, use it. Exactly. And your other hand, <laughs> it's just not like here's a flashlight. That doesn't work. Are you still <laughs> We just gave him a flashlight. So, I gotta say, he was with us when we went to Cerro Gordo. That was his first time with us. Oh. And he refused to go by himself. In the bed. If he wouldn't, if he wouldn't have refused back then, he probably wouldn't have got stuck by himself searching through 700 groups. You know, mm -hmm. that, that is, that is true. true. Very true. The next clip that's coming up was absolutely the most commented thing in the entire video. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys have seen the comment or if you've seen the clip yet, but I'll play it for you guys, and then I can talk about it after. What are you about? But 100, percent this is like 23 minutes into the video. I'm the no, I mean, there's thousands of comments about this. I got a lot of messages about this one. So right. watch this clip. Then watch the pillar. Oh, this is wow, this is wow. What? Where are you? Wait, what was that? I, I got a lot of messages about that right there. Yeah. Yeah. So everyone says that you see a figure, mm -hmm. just very quickly, a super tall, lanky figure. Yeah, that's that like. Walk behind the pillar. That's death. Like yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Yeah, because it, because without any doubt, it is a security guard. That was security. <laughs> it was hundred percent a security okay. guard. I thought we were gonna like walk uh, in like what our ideas okay. of what this no, was. Hundred percent no. a security uh, guard. Just uh, obscure timing in the cut. Uh, Didn't even notice it in the editing. Because there was the, there was the lady who let us in when Josh did the Cecil knock, and then there was the other guy. Yeah, who, who was also down there. So that was a security guard. It wasn't any, oh, okay. Okay. Was was anything paranormal. Say, I was like, that's a little too clear. Like, if that was a ghost, yeah. we're selling that for like $2 million. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that would be great evidence. Just 100% the security guard that was down there. I don't know what he was doing, but just yeah. weird timing. Probably wow. Probably security guard. Okay, and then before we invite everyone in, before we like go get Patty and Lynn and everything, we were like, well, let's just do a super small just investigation our style. Yeah. And the goal was, you guys were just gonna chill in the room mm -hmm. with the EVP and the headphones while uh, I think the three of us, no, it wasn't you, us us two and Matt, mm. Corbin, I, and Matt yes. tried making it to the roof because I was like told yeah. we can get on the roof. Oh, I was like, well, God. let me figure that out now before we try and go up to it later because yeah. there was something planned on the roof for later anyway. So here's like the super small investigation we did. So I figured we might as well just go over the clips because it is bizarre that we we're only there for like an hour and a half. So. Mm -hmm. You know you're here. You see it? Oh, yeah! Wait a second! What? I'm coming up. And those are back to back. So we're like, we know someone's here. And it literally goes, like, that is, that is bizarre. And it went. Yeah, wait, but you said, I thought that was like one of you guys for a second. Listen to it again one more time. What? Yeah, listen for it. You know you're here. Ellie got land. Yeah. And then Corey here is. I'm coming up. He wants to stay here. I'm coming up. Corey, of course. Yeah. The, the newfound clairvoyant. That's that's crazy. Yeah. That, that's like that. Oh, 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 oh. No way. Oh. No way. It said Elisa Lamb, and then Corey Shear. And then going up. Yeah. That's no. I even said it right. It said it, it said your last name better than Corbin does. That's sure. <laughs> <laughs> I had a head injury. That's insane, though. That's insane. One of the biggest comments now on our videos is about what if none of the places are haunted? It's just Corey, Stop. which would explain which would explain why no matter where we go, no matter what time we start, however long we've been there. Doesn't matter. The only common thread between every place you've <laughs> ever been to is Corey. It makes what, a lot of sense. Which makes me wonder matters. what would happen if Corey didn't come with us? Would mm -hmm. nothing happen? Mm -hmm. What if Corey's our dipping box? Possible. But what if? What if? What if we go someplace like maybe like we did like two nights in the Conjuring House and Corey wasn't there for like the first night? Yeah. And then Corey comes in night two. So we don't tell him anything about the oh, night before. No. Yeah. But that is one of the things now. Is like That's one of the main idea. questions. I'm too. actually very interested to know what would happen. Yeah. Damn. Would it be less active or would it be more active? I think a hot, undoubtedly it'd be less active. Less yeah. active without you there. There's like so many things related to Corey. Like out of all, every place we go, it's always Especially fun. at the spirit box. 
And meanwhile, while you guys are wrapping up your investigation, which is strangely the same time we're getting to the roof and you guys are just done for whatever yeah. reason, I'm trying to climb Actually, oh, it's the fire escape. That thing is so sketchy. That's and scary. It's, oh, it's, no, it's open. Oh, yeah. It's coming, coming up. It's coming, it's coming, coming up. up. And you have, that's like the top. Dude, side. this is actually where people are. As that was happening. I, I'm exactly. like holding on to this rail right here because this is just. With all that being said, I feel like we should have Patty come join us now. She yeah. has to actually join us tonight. Definitely. Yeah. Patty, Definitely. You, wanna, you wanna come on in? Sure. Welcome. Yeah, thank, thanks for joining us again tonight and also the night of the Cecil. Oh, yeah. you are so welcome. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So I figured before we talk about this next little note that I left, also kind of no, curious to know like you chime in as well because it's very weird for us to go to the roof of the Cecil mm -hmm. and be so excited to see the water towers when there's no real reason to be excited to see the water towers. What do you yeah. mean, though? Well, okay, like the one. History of well, it. exactly. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Like one, they're water towers. Okay. Yeah. But the reason why we're so excited to see them is because someone passed away in them. Yeah. And that's a weird thing that I never really think we ever like dissect. Is why are we so excited to see the final resting place of someone? And it's like, why? Is it because like we've seen it so many times in so many news articles that you're like, wow, this is crazy to see in real life? No, I think it's just because of how insane the story is. Right. It's so crazy to think that it could ever happen. But I don't think we've ever been somewhere yeah. and been to a spot, you know, where someone died and we were like, oh, we're here, yeah. like, smiling happy. Yeah, but then if you think of it on the flip side, like, mm -hmm. like you know, you go to, like, Albert Einstein's house, it's where he lived. You know, and if it's a person, like, they didn't die there, but if it's a place where they lived, you're still excited to be there. Yeah. Right? And excited to see that as well. Yeah. But it is weird because I feel like maybe it comes off insensitive at times when we show up to these places and we're like, wow, yeah. we're finally here, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think it's, it's the mystery of it. It's really kind of unsolved how she got there. Mm -hmm. She didn't just die there. She floated there for weeks. I mean, yeah. People, yeah, and toothpaste. Yeah, and, and, they, she, they and it. it's just so unbelievable. And again, how did she get there? It just none of it makes sense. Yeah. So it's it's a mystery. Humans yeah. like mystery. Yeah. It I was it was such a mix of emotions. And I think right. I even talked about that one because I was just filming on my phone up there because I couldn't take the camera up the ladder. It was just me and Josh. He didn't climb up. And I remember just walking around and I was like really excited to be up there, but at the same time I was like. Weird, like, right? I was like weirded out. Like, yeah, it was a very, very weird mix of emotions being up there. It is, a, it is a very strange thing when you really think about it in hindsight. If we go to these places that are haunted, right, and the reason why they're known to be haunted is because some terrible things happened at all of them. Mm -hmm. And it is a very weird, like, influx of emotions when you look at it that way. Yeah, even in this clip, you'll hear like how excited yeah. we are to be on the roof. Water tower, man. Like we're like, here we are, man. Like these are water towers. I feel like in that sense of it's more the fascination. Yeah. It's the fascination. Yeah, of definitely. This happened here. Mm -hmm. Right? Her name has gone down in history. Yeah. Of many different things. And so many people feel connected to her. Yeah. In some sort of way. I don't know if yeah. any of you guys saw the documentary, but so many mm -hmm. people actually feel like like they are a part of, you know, that that idea. Mm -hmm. And I think that I think that contributing to it has really made a lot in yeah. a beneficial way. So it's, it's just a very interesting thing, you know, it's like we're going up there and people think like maybe we're being disrespectful or disturbing them, but it's like, well, the whole reason why you're watching our video is because yeah. you're also, you know. We mean in, well in by food. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like we're not going in disrespectfully, like we mean well and we're just, I think we're just excited for the whole experience. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's not like a, like a, oh, we're where somebody died. It's a, like no one's been up there. Yeah, it's like we're one of the few that, yeah, that are definitely. able to mm -hmm. see, you know, what we're looking and, at. And like in particular, to like the water tanks themselves, like that was like, you know, that isn't like we didn't go there because of the water tanks. We went there because the Cecil itself yeah. has this like crazy history to it, mm -hmm. dating back from the Great Depression and all the suicides and yeah. the homicides and the people that have stayed there. And the water tower happens to be, you know, the peak of it, literally, yeah. uh, and, and in, that, in that world. The reason why we ended up doing the, the final part of the video on the roof was not because the water towers were there, it's because it was the biggest space 
we had yeah. available to yeah, us, yeah. Mm -hmm. other than the lobby. By the way, everyone, if you don't know, we are still doing our monthly contest where we pick one person, we will fly out to your hometown, your area, and bring you to do an overnight investigation or something fun, whatever it is that you want to do. There's two ways to enter. Super simple. First one, just leave a like and a comment on this video. Every video you do that on equals one entry. Every month it restarts. The other way is head over to SendToSociety.com. It's a clothing line that we run. Every dollar you spend there equals one entry. And again, we are a one-for-one -one clothing company. So every item you buy, we donate one of those items to the Boys and Girls Club of America. Every month we do our donations. So, and the contest restarts every month. So by the end of the year, we'll have 12 different people we'll have investigated and made videos with. Appreciate all your support. And uh, yeah, let's get back to the reaction video. And then yeah, so for, like, this is our first one at Cecil. This is your second. My second time at Cecil, but before I didn't get to go on the roof. Yeah. Just when I was there, the, the couple nights I was there. Mm -hmm. So it, and there is something weird. I mean, like there's an accident on the freeway. Everybody always looks. Not that you want to see gory, whatever. It's, it's that delicate thing of life and that thing we don't understand after life. And yeah. It's the, it's the mystery. All right, well, but just between us, who do you, who do you have more fun with uh, something with it? I can't tell. <laughs> just between us. I don't know. Just between, just between us. Yeah. Whereas like, the people that let you on the roof or the people yeah. that let me on the roof. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, I went to get Patty at the opening, in which Patty and I had already spoken about something after the Biltmore, before uh, the Cecil, which is that there was a thing I had planned that mm. somehow none of you knew about, except for Josh. Josh, you did know about it. I don't care how many times you say you didn't know about it. Your parents shipped the damn Divic box to me. So Josh was like, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was like, your mother sent me the Divic box that was in your house. <laughs> so Patty and, Patty and I had talked about this beforehand, and I made sure with her numerous times, and you can confirm this again, that if I were to open it, you knew how to handle it. Yes, I It wasn't just like blindly opening a demon in a box and going, here you go, all yeah. right? No, no, no. All those things in my goofy little baskets, a lot of them you will never see unless ever needed to see, but they're there. So are we okay, even though he opened the Divic box? Have you noticed anything? Yes. <laughs> We've all been having terrible luck. I haven't had any bad luck. Yes, you have. What about bad luck? Think. What, my laptop today? My seven-year-old no, laptop? There Oh. That's not my bad luck. My oh, face still looks lucky. Great. Did it your window get stay. busted? No. Oh, that was my window. <laughs> <laughs> After this time, I think like you took the brunt of the attack. No, they only took a windshield, and also there was like three other cars. It wasn't like yeah, targeted. Three other cars. Cars. Yeah. It wasn't like it was only Corey's windshield in a gated parking garage. I'd be like, hmm. But it was like three other cars. And they took so much stuff. And the first thing that's sitting in my seat was the book. Really? Yes. They took the book? No, they didn't. Oh. They were afraid to take the book. They probably got freaked out. They're probably Robin's like, yo, this dude's gonna cast a spell on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's probably why they left. Yeah, yeah. honestly. Jeez. But yeah, here's me basically secretly meeting with Patty while you guys are all talking to everyone else. Are you so cool to open it? I'm yeah. so cool. Okay. So. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Work with that. I got some. Okay. <laughs> I like that line. I didn't yeah. think it was gonna take this weird of a turn that it did. Oh, we got weird. It got real weird. It got weird. It made me feel like middle school happened again. <laughs> Even in middle school, school, people were taking their shirts off to get picked for picture. Oh, I don't know what school you went to. <laughs> Alright, and this is where we actually things get serious again. And again, yeah. my first time ever seeing any of this was at editing. And also brand new because at the Biltmore this didn't happen. This is where you were channeling someone that we ended up finding out was named Bobby. Oh, you weren't there for that. No. Ooh. I wasn't there either. Oh. <laughs> True. Well, we saw you. I can tell him. It was crazy. <laughs> what? You could channel him if you wanted to? How would that be, how would that be possible? And then, yeah, I love how all of you were very intrigued. Well, it was the first time we're seeing anything like this. Yeah. yeah, and then also for me, this is the first time like seeing this footage, which had also never happened to me in five years of doing TFL, but I hadn't been there for everything that we filmed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm watching this as the first time mm -hmm. ever, as if like I'm a viewer, and I'm like, what the f is happening? Are you freaking out? Yeah, I was like, what the f is happening here? Yeah, bro. 
It was, and it was crazy, like, even, like, for me, like, watching your reactions to everything for the first time. Yeah. Like, I wasn't, like, part of it. I just got to watch you guys react to all of this. Oh. And see how just, like, blown away all of you were. I mean, can you point to where you are right now? Your rods are pointing right at her, by the way. Bobby, was this your, was this your place to hang out? Corey. How old were you, Bobby? Did you live here? Why are you stuck here? Corey and I were lucky. I'm freaking out. I've never seen that. Was this your corner that you would always hang out at? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I just didn't want to hurt him. Yeah. Man, should stop. He's loud. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's so funny? That, that is so Yeah, I felt him coming in. I allowed him to come in. And again, this is one of those don't try this at home if you don't know what you're doing things. Yeah. Because then it's like dream state. I didn't know. When I came out of it, I, I thought he had been talking. I just remembered being itchy, and I, I thought he was talking, talking, but yeah. it, 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 he didn't talk. I don't yeah. know what well, that was. Corey and I were kind of looking at each other, and when you were doing this, I, it looked like you were going to actually hit your head against the wall. So it was like, kind of looking at Corey, like, what are, we, are we supposed to <laughs> yeah. stop this? Is this yeah. like, yeah, I had to put my hand behind your head because I was just like, this is getting out of hand. Like, this is crazy. No, seriously. And like, what's even crazier is like, he probably was like talking or trying to talk and yeah. like dude i just wish that we could know exactly what he was saying right there what you guys all just basically told me is that you haven't seen this video <laughs> none of you guys watched this video did you on youtube i did right now no, i did no, 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 no. I none of you watched right the video now. huh you all i saw the same part. thing which clearly says to me you have not watched this video i was there i was gonna watch it all of you were like, <laughs> I, I, come wish, come I wish she said something she didn't say anything none of you have seen this video Oh Are you kidding me? No, no, no. I've it's seen three that hours. part of it. I've seen that part of it. And also, I don't want to relive the stuff that scared me by myself. Yeah, I was waiting for the so, reaction uh, new, video. news break, everyone. This is not a reaction video. This is actually them watching the video for the very first <laughs> time. So then, it is a reaction video. I haven't even watched one of my own YouTube videos in three years. I just, I just <laughs> edited it and hope it was edited okay. I don't wish we watched the edit. You just throw <laughs> random sensor bars on the wall and catch the cursor. <laughs> wow. Yes. that we should play it backwards so we can hear something. What we have never done before in a single video ever, have we never. ever played anything backwards. And all of the viewers are like, huh. Stop, I'm kind of getting chills right now. Oh, I did Please help, don't be mad at me. Play it, play it, play it, play it. It comes quick. <laughs> Yeah! Please don't, don't be mad at me. Yep. Okay, keep it going. All right, and then the next one, I listen to it. I can't hear what the viewers are hearing, but oh, there's a ton of comments about it that says, please help, I gotta get out of here, and it repeats it. I played it back, I don't hear it, but again, I'm not, you know, there's multiple of us in this room right now. Okay. Oh, actually, I hear it. I, hear, I, I, I hear, hear it. Hear it. I hear now it. I hear it. Actually. I keep hearing it faintly. Now, yeah. I actually, I actually did I hear it that three time. times. I heard, please help. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, please help. I gotta get out of here. What? Yeah. That actually, that's weird. I didn't hear it earlier when I was prepping this. Yeah. Please help. I gotta get out of here. Please help. Please help. I gotta get. That's what it sounds well, like. There's stuff. There, there's a bunch. There's something holding a bunch of. But stuff. the way that the way that you were mumbling and before putting in reverse, like as if the way 
he was saying it in reverse was like perfect like the rocking back and like please help i gotta get out of here yeah please help like well, you really they, channeled it they make the words make any sense in it's reverse insane. that's insane by yeah. itself and the main comment was some blurry ink and it said in 1947 robert smith died after jumping from the seventh floor window robert bobby oh. known drug addict oh. wow wow yeah so that's the tie-in, is that it wow. really makes sense that so there was a drug addict there named Robert, Robert Smith, and in 1947 he jumped. He's trying to like just sitting against the wall in his room on that last day, just like rocking back and forth saying that. Wow. And the fact that, you know, Bobby's a common name, yeah. but pretty, pretty that's spot on. Pretty, pretty bizarre there. Yeah, that's I don't think I've ever, well, that's not a normal channeling. I usually don't that embarrassing so, but I've never had it done backwards before like that. I never, I wow. never would have done it if Corey didn't say it. And for some reason, Corey had the instinct yeah. to be like, whatever she was saying, you're <laughs> <laughs> rubbing off on me. Seriously. I'm my basket over the corner. <laughs> And then I think at this point we go into a room and I think for the first time ever, because I had to do my homework on it in editing, was that you mentioned like an egregore. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of like a new a new thing to us. So like I'll, I'll play the clip. An egregore. Exactly. Thing that's not a ghost, that's dark, it's not one of our human that it's holding them here. Like a human. Like a human or an egregore. And I think an egregore. an egregore is a creative thing. How we we can create really? sometimes, yeah. It's a creator? You don't create it. Oh. It's created by negative energy, bad, just like you put pol poltergeists are like weird energy, like from teens that get whatever yeah. created yeah. thing. Egregores are full on spirits that get, there's tulpa, there's egregores, there's servitors, there's all these different layers. And it's in every belief system and religions from huh. all, all through. Yeah. Jesus. Wow. So there is something created there, maybe because of all the things, all the sadness, all the drugs always bring in dark stuff, you know, all the murder, all the suicide. You say it's like manifested into yeah, something. Yeah, into, into a real thing. Wow. Jeez. Well, now things start kind of like rapid fire. I remember that. Wow. Oh, Just man. moments after basically opening the veil, it goes off. And again, this is like the cat ball, which is like, we know we put it on the ground. You, the heart of you stomp, it doesn't go off. And you have yeah. to physically move it. For okay. it to go off takes an immense amount of energy. Yep. So I actually still don't know how to get it to go off without moving the damn thing. Yeah. And what I'm pumped is like we set up a bunch of extra GoPros to make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah. And this is one of those shots where we just had a camera up and it captures this. I make the camera. You make the camera. Oh, oh my that's God. Sick. Nobody's close. You can see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. Someone's in the dark. Nobody's you close. Like that? No one moves, no one touches yeah. it, anything. It's right on cue. That's, That's a, a rare shot. I feel like a lot of the yeah. time we have a cat ball go off. We, it's always Evan whipping the camera because yep. he sees it, it but you oh. never get it actually going from oh. off to yeah. on, on camera. That's so for sure, we're using multiple GoPros for now. I'm like, yes. we get the clown hotel. That's mm -hmm. Just multiple angles that show that no matter what happens, there's something that's going to get it clean and show yeah. that no one's like tampering with anything. No one was close to it. No. Nobody. Not at all. Look at the rod. Yeah, yeah. And then this is like directly after the mod chant, just like a few seconds after. And it's the first time you guys have two devices go at the exact same time. had to we had to meet up that yeah was like, that was yeah, like literally. i think we gave each team like three and a half hours yeah we had wow. like a time we had to be at a certain we spot. had to all yeah. meet up at the lobby again for the, like the final thing you want us to stay 
Look at that thing consistent. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, K2s have been like one of the biggest things for me that just, just set me off. I just don't, I don't understand mm -hmm. that. Between asking a question and it going off, you ask me, not saying, you know, do you not want that? Yeah. Close up. Yep. You know what's interesting, what I just realized is that no one here besides me knows what happened with Linda and Zachariah and I. Because you and uh, Josh were on the roof. Oh yeah. The three of you were all together. None oh. of so none of, none of you have any idea what happened there. Wow. Right? So maybe I won't play those clips. What? what? No, maybe I won't play those why clips. Wait, why, why would you do that? No, maybe I won't play those clips. Maybe you should watch part three of the Cecil Overnight we series. We have to watch our own videos. I think That's so. Great. I think we might have to That's skip. Kind of great. I think we might have to skip those clips so you guys have to. So you guys have to watch them. Well, Patty, thank you again for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, seriously. Thank you, guys. Seriously. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and again, if you don't know, Patty, all of her information is down below. Her, her website, her book, her Instagram, her Twitter, it's all there. You can hire her. She does events, things like that. It's all there uh, below. And again, all of their descriptions and names are down below. TFIL is still posting. They all have their own YouTube channels that post on somewhat consistently. <laughs> <laughs> so they all have videos as, as well. Um, but appreciate you guys tuning in and, and watching all of this and then perhaps uh, if they ever watch part three or any of the parts in the Cecil series We'll go over that footage. <laughs> yeah, we will. But, but until then, we will. We just have to do it together. We will. Yeah. But again, please Beautiful. make sure you keep leaving comments on these videos. Uh, we, we check them. I read them all. I put together these videos. I really yeah. enjoy hearing your guys' thoughts. And uh, yeah, thanks for all tuning in. See you guys in the next video.